in Chinatown. Nothing ever changes. Nothing exciting ever happens to me or you or anyone we know. I feel like I'm a background character in someone else's story. I think that's called being a loser. Shut up, man. Holy, what is she doing here? I need your help. Why me? You know Chinatown better than I do? I need someone on the inside. <gasps> I am a huge fan of yours. I loved you in Love Hard. That was like my very oh. favorite Christmas movie. Absolutely love it. And I love this. So I want to hear from you. What made you want to become Willis? And what just really made you love the script? I just really resonated with the story. I mean, it was a brilliantly written script. There's so many things I can relate to, like his relationship with his parents, the want that he has to do more with his life while he felt like he was stuck in a loop. I think that's relatable to many people. It's a great underdog story. But at the same time, there's such a mystery to it. And it's something that's so unique and has felt like never, I've never seen something like that. And then I read the book and I was like, wow, this is so cool. Not do I only relate to it, but it speaks to like a larger sense of how Asian Americans feel a lot of times as in the background. Willis Wu. You know my name? Pretend to take my order. Welcome to the Golden Palace. How may I help you? Just pack normal. Welcome to the Golden Palace. All love to Charlie, to Taika. I just couldn't wait to work with them, you know, once I read it. Yeah, you know who this is. Get in. There's something going on in Chinatown. A pattern of incidents I don't yet understand. That's my brother. He's been missing for 12 years. He was working with us. So you're going to solve this? We are. We? We work together. I was going to ask, you know, originally if you did read the book and if that influenced how you portrayed the character, was there anything that you particularly wanted to bring from the book on screen and anything that you really wanted to kind of make a Jimmy impact, you know, a <laughs> book, you know? <laughs> yeah, I drew a lot from my own personal experience, actually, because Willis started off as a background actor, snuck in with some little bit parts, and it became the tech guy. I'm like, I went through that. I was the tech guy, you know? So I think all the roles that I've played in my career and the journey I went through really informed Willis in every episode, you know, whether he's generic Asian man in the background or whether, you know, him and Lana's character, you know, has like a little rom-com vibe going. It's kind of like love hard. So all of these roles really helped and informed me of where Willis is at. But at the end of the day, it's a human story. Although the world around him is kind of bonkers and like very different, I just have to focus on him, like his relationship with his father, his relationship with his best friend, and his human journey of wanting to do more and be more and get out of the background. Let me tell you, this. you are getting involved with things you don't yet understand. I don't know what's going on, but weird things are starting to happen. Oh, he's in it now. In what? There's got to be a, a different angle. And if we find it... Then I can find out what happened to my brother. I don't want to lose another son. How was it working with Charles and Taika? Amazing. It was such a blessing to have Charles. Like, he, he wrote the novel, and he's our showrunner and the writer of the show. So him being on set every day, any questions we can just go up to literally ask the creator of this was so cool. And Taika was brilliant. He's equal parts great with directing the drama, making the shots beautiful, and coming up with comedy, you know? So he really hit like all the all the notes and it was just a joy to work with them. Who are you? You have to go, Willis. Come try to sound. Get lost in sound, end up in the north and sound. Why am I like this? Bad at drinking? No, half dressed. Oh yeah, I, I I couldn't get your shirt off, so I just did your pants. So you don't know Duckley. Nice quads, bro. 